Hello. My name is uh, William Bishop and I'm 27 years old and uh, I just wanted to quickly, because none of my other videos will ever upload for whatever reason, share my experience getting off of uh, Ativan, Clonazepam, Ambien, with uh, YouTube v viewers. So, here goes. So, I believe that there's two different types of people who take prescription medication. Some people use it as a crutch. Other people use it as a wheelchair. So, and let me explain. So, like recently I got off of um, lorazepam. I was using this as more of a crutch, less of a wheelchair. When I originally was on clonazepam earlier in my 20s, I was definitely using that as a wheelchair. I couldn't function without it. And I would take one every single day. Um, the Ativan, I would take it if I was dying. And sometimes I would push it past that. I wouldn't even take it if I was dying. So, I don't, I don't necessarily think that benzodiazepines as they are um, <clears throat> should be given to just every everybody because I don't think that certain personalities could ever get off them ever um, these are more addictive than than methamphetamines so I originally got put on a <clears throat> clonazepam when I was uh, in my 20s <clears throat> younger actually I'm sorry I was like 19 because I moved out with a friend <clears throat> we me and him had a, had a falling out I moved back in with my dad Around that time, I started getting heart palpitations, have like panic attacks. I saw a psychiatrist. Uh, she put me on clonazepam right away. I was on that for two years. I didn't know the consequences. I didn't know that I was having like withdrawal effects while I was on it still. I started, I felt like I was losing my mind and I was having all these crazy um, issues with my body. So I stopped. I, at the time, I was like an extreme athlete and I was skateboarding. I was doing a lot of things. I've always been a very physical, active person. But I, I couldn't even come, you know, I couldn't even stand up from getting off the couch without having my heart feel like it was racing, literally jumping out of my chest. And I felt like every time I, every time I would stand up, I felt like I was just going to pass out or fall over, you know. And I just, it, I got to a point where I was just real irrational. I couldn't leave the house. I couldn't keep a job. I couldn't do anything. I, I couldn't manage my, I couldn't even do, I couldn't even take the medication properly and, you know, <clears throat> and make it the full 30 days on the pills that I had. I would take more because I, because I was withdrawing and then I would, I started drinking because I was withdrawing. So I was now drinking and taking clonazepam. And finally, it got to the point after two years where I could no longer get a script. I no longer had insurance. Um, my mom dropped me off her insurance. I didn't have a job. I didn't have money to even see a doctor. So I just couldn't get refills. And I had to get off cold turkey. And that was that was hell. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't leave the house for a good two months. And I didn't figure out. Um, I, I, I seriously just thought I was going to die for a long time. Um <clears throat> I've always been too afraid of committing suicide, otherwise I definitely would have. But I got through that somehow. And after that, I got on, um, well, after that I moved in with my aunt. Uh, around that time I was still drinking. I did these training courses called Impact Training. That was a big help with my life. and getting me on the right track again because I had lost a little bit of my pizzazz somewhere along the way. Um, you know, that, that, that youthful energy that you have when you're a kid, when you transition into adulthood, something that light in you gets lost. And I lost that somewhere. And the clonazepam definitely took that right out of me. And impact training got a little bit of that back, but a lot of me is just, will never be, you know, that'll take years, maybe, who knows. But, as stupid as it is, I got back on clonazepam because I, the side effects weren't going away. I was waiting months and months and months. The side effects wouldn't go away, so I got back on it. Um, 
and I'm going to continue this in the part two.